All right guys, so there have been recent talks about hardware 4 and what we've been seeing so far in production vehicles that have updated cameras. Now in recent discoveries from the kilowatts, we noticed that newer vehicles are having upgraded cameras. However, they're not the addition of new cameras, but just a revision of the older ones. Now some of the latest images here that were captured of the new production Model S's and Model X's off the line, we noticed that there were some changes to the cameras, but nothing so far on the camera placement side. The housing may look a little bit different but the sensors itself looks pretty much identical with some kind of reflection on the inside here that glows a little bit red now we know for sure that this vehicle just came off the line because if you guys take a look at inside of the interior you will notice that there is that brand new steering wheel so the steering wheel was just recently announced and now there's gonna be a retrofit for those of you guys that have the yoke and don't like the yoke but there hasn't been a vehicle coming directly off the production line with the steering wheel already installed so this pretty much guarantees us that this is a brand new vehicle and this supposedly should have the hardware 4 and the full self-driving computer inside now as for the radar system i'm not too sure if it's already inside or not somebody is gonna have to tear it down take off the bumper to actually see if there is radar already installed but in terms of the full self-driving computer we noticed that in recent model x's there has been the board already installed but nothing has changed on the exterior just like the model s's here now i know a lot of you guys are probably confused just like i am and i think this is because the new project highland and the new hardware Hardware 4 and a bunch of other things that is being announced this year. Overall, it's pretty exciting that there's so much going on, but at this point, a lot of people are holding off buying their vehicle just because they know that Hardware 4 is on the horizon. Like I said in all of my previous videos, I recommend you guys just wait off until we get the official words because there's no point buying it right now knowing that you guys might not get the latest and the best tech. But the thing is, even if you guys wait off any longer, you might not get it in Hardware 4. And this is where I'm going to be talking about Hardware 4.5. Now, before we get to Hardware 4.5, five i'm gonna have to talk about why we are confused right now with the updates and what's going on with some of the vehicles and what's going on with future vehicles now recently from china and green the only if you guys haven't already heard of him go check him out on twitter he has all the latest leaks but the production line in china gigafactory showed that there was some kind of diagram some kind of documentation as well there were some spy shots of the full self-driving cameras that were going to be coming in hardware 4 we already know that the front facing camera is now going to be two cameras instead of three cameras However, the recent vehicles that got off the production line in the US showed that it still houses the three cameras instead of two. And on top of that, the leaks in China have also shown that it has a new module and a new fan at the back of it, as well as some placement and cutout differences for the B-pillar camera and some radiant heating on the sides. And on top of all that, we have green leaking the board of the full self-driving computer. You guys will notice that it's different from the previous board, meaning it's not going to be retrofitable. But on top of that, it also has a bunch of different ports for 11 different cameras and one spare maybe for something else they're going to be using in the future now other than the china leak and a couple of other blurry images with cameras in the headlight and in the rims and whatever there hasn't been any official shots of the new camera placements anywhere to be seen so this got a lot of people thinking whether it's going to be even coming with hardware 4 or this is going to be specifically using for the cybertruck and the semi which is going to have those additional cameras now i personally think this is unlikely the case because tesla is not going to be wanting to have different code stacks for different vehicles they want to stream Streamline the entire full self-driving suite, meaning that one code is going to work for that amount of different cameras. So having the Cybertruck with additional cameras or the Semi with additional cameras is just going to add additional data that is not going to be needed. And unless they stitch it in some different way that doesn't cause additional processing power, it just really doesn't make sense. And I think more likely these additional cameras, if it were to be used solely for the Cybertruck and the Semi, it would be only used as a dedicated viewing cameras. So when I talk about dedicated viewing cameras, I'm talking about maybe when you're rock climbing, there's going to be those lip cameras that you're going to be looking on the ground so you don't scratch your rims or your bumper. And for the semi, just probably some additional cameras to get a bigger view because it is a bigger vehicle overall. But now going back to hardware 4 and possibly hardware 4.5, I think hardware 4.5 is going to be the spot where we're going to see those additional cameras. You guys remember back in the days where Tesla upgraded from hardware 2 to hardware 2.5? The board stayed exactly the same. It was just an addition of the interior camera and just a year ago when tesla upgraded the model s and model x interior design you guys noticed that there is a rear view screen now that screen was recently opened up and it seemed like there was additional ports for the model 3 and model y hinting that it's going to come with these future vehicles now this officially hasn't come out yet but tesla likes to future proof all of their hardware and likely this is going to be a feature of the model 3 and model y in the future there's a high probability that tesla is going to add a rear view screen for the base model vehicles and because 
because the hardware and the ports are already there, they're just going to use the exact same board and implement it into the rear deck. And I see this being the same for hardware 4 and hardware 4.5. I believe that hardware 4 right now is coming with production vehicles coming off the line. However, the new cameras have not been implemented yet. It's using a different housing and a different sensor. It's not going to get those front facing cross traffic cameras or any additional cameras to add up to the 11. But as time goes on and Tesla does decide to add these new cameras, I'm sure those ports being there is going to be future proofing it. And when the time comes that Tesla does want to retrofit the cameras, all they need to do is just a plug and play method, remove the bumper, maybe drill in a hole or just replace it completely and have the new bumpers with the cameras already installed. I think this is the simplest process and I think this is what Tesla is working on right now. I don't think they are ready for new camera placements just yet. So this is why hardware 4.5 is going to be the hardware that you want in your vehicles. Now, of course, this is all speculation right now, just like everything on the web. But I think this is most likely the case because what we're seeing right now going off the line, we're not getting any indications that we're going to get any additional cameras. But we'll definitely hear something more about it on the March 1st event. And if you guys want to stay tuned to that, please hit the subscribe and that notification bell on this channel. And I'll update you guys as soon as I hear anything. But this should wrap it up for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.